Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Thursday, February 5th, 2009. Here are today's top stories. Yesterday, the House approved a bill to move the DTV transition date firmly to June 12th, 2009. The final tally was 264 in favor, 158 against. The bill also allows the approximately 2 million households with expired DTV to analog converter box coupons to reapply for them. The DTV delay bill had the support of major broadcast networks including ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, as well as Verizon, AT&T, and numerous public safety organizations. ABC acquired the media rights capital comedy Surviving Suburbia, headlined by Bob Saget, and will place it on Mondays following Dancing with the Stars beginning on April 6th at 9.30. With 13 episodes already produced, Surviving Suburbia was originally planned to be part of the CW Sunday night block. The sitcom replaces Samantha Who, which moves to Thursdays. Time Warner Cable is eliminating 1,250 employees across the U.S. in a major restructuring move, according to TWC COO Landall Hobbs. This new restructuring step follows one last year in TWC's field operations, resulting in 500 job cuts throughout the country. These latest layoffs represent less than 3% of TWC's total workforce, yet are expected to save the company approximately $90 million. In related news, Time Warner cited a $16 billion loss due to a large write-down revealed last month based on the decreasing value of America Online magazine division Time Inc., as well as Time Warner Cable, which will be spun off to shareholders. Time Warner did have some good news, though, as the company's cable networks, including HBO, TNT, TBS, and CNN, all posted a plus 9% revenue increase in fourth quarter 2008. BBC America announced the launch of three, count them, three sci-fi drama series later on this year. First on the list is Being Human, three twenty-somethings lead double lives as a werewolf, one as a vampire, and the other as a ghost. Second is Survivors. It's acquired by BBC America about the aftermath following a deadly virus which wipes out 99% of the human race. Prime Evil returns with zoologist Nick Cutter, who discovers prehistoric creatures existing today. Meanwhile, over at the Gospel Music Channel, they're going to debut the new original series, Four Southern Gospels Best, on February 27th at 10 p.m. The weekly show highlights Southern Gospel quartets with performances from the Dove Brothers Quartet, the Hoppers, the Kingdom Heirs, and Brian Free and Assurance. The series airs Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Game Show Network tapped Carney Wilson to host the new updated version of the newlywed game, slated to premiere on April 6th at 6 p.m. Rolling out with 40 episodes, the game show sports a revamped set and a new bonus round where the winning newlywed couple challenges a still-married and a former original newlywed game couple referred to as the Goldiewed couples on the show. That's pretty cool. These go back as far as the 60s. And last up today, Vivica A. Fox makes TV Land her new home as host of the upcoming original series, The Cougar. Set to premiere in April on TV Land Prime, the eight-episode, one-hour competition dating series watches as an attractive woman looks for love among eligible younger men. And on that note, that's a wrap. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few of the stories that did not make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonik. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.